Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. We're so glad that you're here with us for our Shabbat evening service at Temple Akiba. My name is Rabbi Zach Shapiro, here with Cantor Lani Freilich and our rabbinic intern from the Hebrew Union College, Josh Shapiro. We're also here, Lucy, with you and your family as you are on this journey toward becoming a bat mitzvah tomorrow. So we're so excited to celebrate and to be with you. And uh, this will be a time for the entire family to just fell over <laughs> the young person, uh, the young woman that you're becoming. Friends, we are glad that you're here. Uh, we're going to ask that you please make sure that your cell phones are on the, uh, the silent mode so that we're not interrupted during the service. And Cantor, anything about music you want to share before we begin? We'll be calling out the page numbers for our prayers and our songs as we move through the service. And we always say we love for your participation. We love for you to sing along. So please join us. You'll see the words in Hebrew and transliteration. You'll also find the English translation. And I always say, and you'll hear this tomorrow if you're here for the bat mitzvah, even if you're not sure of the words, don't let the words get in the way. Just sing la la la. But we still love to hear your voices. We're going to open with a prayer that is typical of a morning service. It's on page 74, and it's called Matovu. It means how lovely are your tents, <coughs> O Jacob, your dwelling places, O Israel. And it's an important kind of prayer to open the service because regardless of how we feel coming into Shabbat, it may have not been the best week for some of us, Nevertheless, we come into this space with a sense of awe and a sense of wonder. We're going to be singing this as uh, a round. So you can follow the melody line that Cantor does. I may come in at some point with uh, the round line and choose whichever you want or somewhere in the middle. And we'll fill this place with song. Matovu. Oh, going to continue now on page two. Lucy, we invite you, your sister Summer, and your parents forward to light our Shabbat candles. Again, we're on page two, everyone.
Okay. Friends, we're going to continue with the Kiddush on page 5. We invite all who are able to please rise. Seated, everyone. Mazel Tov, Lucy. That was so wonderful. You guys can all have a seat. <coughs> if we turn in our prayer books to page 20, we're going to continue with the singing, the joyful singing of Lecha Dodi, a beautiful prayer to welcome Shabbat as though Shabbat were a bride entering our lives. Just like one often would see in a wedding, we actually stand at the end and we face the entry to the sanctuary as the bride comes in, the bride of Shabbat. But we'll signal to you when we get to that part. Again, we're on page 20, everyone. <laughs> Lecha lecha dodi, lika lika kala, pene pene shabat nekabela. Lecha lecha dodi, lika lika kala, pene pene shabat nekabela la la. Lecha lecha dodi, lika lika kala, pene pene shabat nekabela. Lecha lecha dodi, lika lika kala, pene pene shabat nekabela. Shamor v'zachor b'ri borechad Kishmi anu el ha-meyuchad Adonai echad u'shemo echad L'shem lo tiferet b'lepti la 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 Lecha dodi lika lika kala P'nei p'nei shabat nekabela Lecha lecha dodi lika lika kala P'nei p'nei shabat nekabela We're actually going to ask everyone to rise and face the entrance to greet the Sabbath bride. Po'i v'shalom ha-teret bala Gam b'simcha u'vet sohola Toch emuni Lecha 
Please be seated, everyone, except for Lucy, who's going to come forward and lead us in the Chatsi Kaddish. We're on page 26. Right over here. Ye got on a week and a shame, Rafa, Velma, Diva, Hirite, Rayomi, Mohute, Bahaye, Hon, Uv, Yome, Hon, Uv, Haye, Dahol, Bait, Israel. Bagala, Bagala, Uvis Mahan Kari, Chimeru, Amen. Yehe Shme Rava Mevara, Le Alamu Ame Amaya, Yit Barach, Yit Barach, Vit Ashbach, Vit Pavit. Oman beat Nasser, beat Hata, beat Hale, beat Hala, she made the good shop. We go. The Elan Kofil Hata, the Shuata Tushu Shmehata, Vene Hemata, Dami Rambe Alma. Amen. Beautiful. You can have a seat. Thank you so much. We're going to invite the congregational who are able <coughs> to please rise for the Baruch Hu. It's on page 28. This is our formal call to worship. Israel. It's on pages 34 and 35. At Temple Akiba, we have a tradition of making the letter Shin with our hands. The Shin is the first letter in the word Shema. And we cover our eyes and we can either decide to look at the words in the page or just take a moment to listen as we offer these words together. Shema Israel Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Israel Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Israel Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kevod Mahuto Le'olam Ba'ed Baruch Shem Kevod Mahuto 
Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Please be seated except for Lucy. Lucy will be leading us in our prayer, the Vyahavta. We're on page 36. Ha <laughs> Uksotam leo aliadeha, where you lo tato benenecha, Uktatam amuzazo beteha, Avisha weha, Lemon tiske room, Fatsetam ekbo mitzvata, Vetam kadashim, Le elohim, Ani adanel hehem, Asher hot seti et hem me eret, let's find leo. Lachem Leohim Ani Adonai Lohechem. Have a seat, Lucy. That was wonderful. On page 39, the second half of the page, let's please read responsively in the English. In a world torn by violence and pain, a world far from wholeness and peace, give us the courage to say, Adonai, there is one God in heaven and earth. The high heavens declare your glory. May earth reveal your justice and love. From bondage in Egypt we were delivered. At Sinai we bound ourselves to your way. Inspired by prophets and instructed by sages, Time and again, we overcame oppressive forces. Though our failings are many and our faults are great, it has been our glory to bear witness to our God, keeping alive in dark ages your vision of a world redeemed. Let us continue to work for the day when the nations will be one and at peace. Then shall we rejoice as Israel did, singing on the shores of the sea. The <laughs> cornerstone of that song that our ancestors sang is the Micha Mocha. It's on page 40. Micha Mocha Ba'elim Adonai Micha Mocha Netar Ba'kodesh Norate Our prayer of Hashkivenu. Traditionally, it asks God to keep us safe as we sleep. Our period of being most vulnerable while we sleep. Our prayer today, I ask us, how can we be God's partner in keeping one another safe, being one another's protector when we are vulnerable and those around us are in need of a little extra protection? We offer Hashkivenu on page 42. So we'll specifically be doing the Ufros Alenu portion of the Hashki Venu, which you can find about three lines down from the top of the page.
来来来来，嘿，来来来来，嘿，来来来来来来来来来来，呀来来来，嘿，呀来来来，呀来来来来来来来。Turn now to page 46. We invite all, <coughs> all who are able to rise once again. Lucy, if you'll please join us to lead us in the Amidah. Please be seated, everyone. Beautifully done, Lucy. Well, Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. A few weeks ago, I had the privilege of going to the Hebrew Union College Jewish Institute of Religion, uh, the campus here in Los Angeles, the Jack H. Skirball campus, where our intern Josh gave an incredible fourth year sermon. And one of the ideas that he gave in his sermon stemmed from a memory he had from camp. And so I took license, therefore, to share my own camp memory from the same camp just about 20 years later, I suppose. So uh, I was a, a staff member at Eisner Camp in Great Barrington, Massachusetts. That's in Western Massachusetts. And prior to 
the campers arriving, we had a leadership training exercise. And there were about 100 staff members. And who, the person leading this exercise said to us that we all have to present ourselves so that we are inside of a box, which is about the same size as our Aron HaKodesh, our ark doors. Now, take a good look at that and imagine for a moment 100 teenagers or, you know, young 20-year-olds all fitting in there. And we had to figure out how to do it. And we got into small group discussions. How is it possible that all 100 of us could fit into that small space? And we spent probably the entire afternoon in deep rabbinic discourse trying to figure out how this could happen. And finally, one person in the group said, wait a minute, the instructions were not that our entire body, we don't have to stand in it, just that we had to be pre present in it somehow. So then everyone took one finger and put it inside at the same time, and it was almost like a game of Twister, but we could do it, and for a brief second, all 100 of the leaders were able to be present inside of that box at one time. It was a, an interesting exercise to help think outside of the box, but also an interesting exercise about how all of us could be within one extraordinary space at the same time. Now, I want to share that with regard to our Torah portion this Shabbat, which is entitled Tzav. Tzav means command. And while most of the commandments that we think about in Torah or in Judaism, or about you know, the commandments to light Shabbat candles, the commandments about how to treat one another ethically. In this Torah portion, the commandments are more specifically about Aaron, the high priest, and his children, and what is necessary to be one of the ancient priests. But there's three lines in here which I find extraordinary. I'm going to read them in Hebrew, then translate them. Translated. The Assembly, assembly is a bad translation. Perhaps the, the leadership, it's hard to, to know. I'll tell you why it's hard to know in a minute. The entire assembly or the leadership should gather at the entrance of the tent of meeting. So Moses did this. And when this leadership was assembled at the tent, Moses said to the leadership, this is what God has commanded to do. Now, the reason I had trouble with this word leadership is because the Hebrew doesn't really say leadership. Leadership is usually a specific kind of word in Hebrew. Here it says ha'eda, which means the witnesses. The witnesses. All of the witnesses of the community. Now, Rashi, one of our extraordinary commentators, looks at this and says, well, what's the definition of a witness? A witness is not just the leader, it's not the board of the congregation, it's not the clergy of the congregation. A witness is anyone who cares to observe, who cares to see, who cares to have his or her eye open, available to see the extraordinary things that are happening. And so with that translation, the community leadership should all come to the entrance of the tent of meeting. Well, this is where that leadership exercise comes in. How is it that all like two and a half million people, <laughs> or however, whatever the full amount was that was in the desert, how could they all fit at the entry to the tent of meeting? That entry is not huge. That's not huge. What was it that enabled all of them to be witnesses at that one place at that one time? And Rashi goes ahead and he, Rashi explains that there was something so mystical and beautiful about that moment where each and every child of Israel 
was able to witness God's presence at the same time. Friends, this is our way of saying that when it comes to understanding Judaism, it's not just for the leaders. It's not just for the elected board. It's not just for the clergy. But each and every one of us sitting here has an opportunity to receive a spark of that light that emanates from the entrance. The question is, how are you going to be a witness? How are you going to observe something so awesome this week? So awesome like a rainbow. So awesome like a sunrise or a sunset. Something so awesome like seeing a poor person being helped by another. Something so awesome like tasting an amazing piece of cake. Whenever you experience something awesome, you become one of those witnesses. You become someone who has a place at the entry way of meeting. What are you going to observe? What conversation will you listen to that might be a difficult conversation so that you can become a witness? What social media will you turn off so the rest of you can turn on so you can become a witness? Whose awesome voice will you hear tomorrow morning as she ascends to become a bat mitzvah so you can be a witness? Each and every one of us has that opportunity. Don't waste it. Don't waste it for a second. As we enter our own space for private prayer, we can close our eyes but open the shutter of our souls so that we may witness God's voice and feel that light at the entryway to the tent of meeting. We pray silently. Kendra Lani, I was so happy when I saw the Varsanas walk in tonight. I mean, I was happy when I saw all of you walk in. I was too. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren, but this is specifically for you because when Kendra and I were going over the service, she said that we were going to be offering the uh, Alana Arian. Uh, Alana Arian, Arian version of Yee Hee Yee but we call it Lauren's version. Right. So actually, Lauren, I, you can say no, but if you want to join us to sing along with us, we invite you up only if you'd like. You could totally say no, but <laughs> sounds okay. good. So this song was introduced to us by Lauren a few years ago, and this is one of our favorites. We're on page 62 in the middle of the page. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable to you, Adonai, my rock and my redeemer. Fun now. 
Turn to page 253. We have an opportunity to offer a prayer for healing, physical, spiritual, emotional healing. When we get to the center of the prayer, if there are names of people you know who could use an extra embrace, please share those names out loud as my eyes meet yours. everyone to turn for a moment to page 259 as we offer a prayer for the state of Israel. Shalu, shalom Yerushalayim, yishlayu oyevaych. 
Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you prosper. If you can please repeat after me on this Hebrew. Avinu, Avinu. Avinu, Avinu. Sheba Shamayim. Sheba Shamayim. Sur Yisrael. Sur Yisrael. Vigo Alo. Vigo Alo. Avinu, Avinu. Avinu, Avinu. Sheba Shamayim. Sheba Shamayim. Sur Yisrael. Sur Yisrael. Vigo Alo. Vigo Alo. Let's read in the English. O Heavenly One, protector and redeemer of Israel, bless the state of Israel, which marks the dawning of hope for all who seek peace. Shield it beneath the wings of your love. Spread over it the canopy of your peace. Send your light and truth to all who lead and advise, guiding them with your good counsel. Establish peace in the land and fullness of joy for all who dwell there. Amen. Avinu, avinu. Avinu, avinu. Sheba shamayim. Sheba shamayim. Sur Yisrael. Sur Yisrael. Vigo halo. Vigo halo. like to invite up Morse Zlotowicz to let us know what is going on at Temple Akiba on behalf of our board. Thank you. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. And on behalf of the uh, Board of Trustees, just welcome uh, everyone to Temple Akiba. And uh, just also want to just ask if there's anyone here for the first time, we'd love for you to introduce yourself. I think there's a lot of people. <laughs> well, I think you're all. Well, go ahead. I'll. Nice to meet you, Eli. Welcome. Well, I think there's. I know there's a lot of people here celebrating Lucy and uh, Mazel Tov to you and your bar mitzvah. You've done great job already, and we're and tomorrow you're gonna, you know, hit it out of the ballpark. So. Um, uh, mazel tov to you and your family, and, uh, thank, and again, thank you for sponsoring tonight's Zonig. And um, as you know, there's always a lot to do at Temple Akiba. I just wanted to mention a couple of things. Um, we have our um, challah braid and bake on Friday, April 12th. Um, there's, um, I think this is a new program, Ancestors Voices Workshop, which is Saturday, April 13th from... Uh, 11 to 2, I think it's after our Torah study. And um, Passover is coming up right around the corner. So our second night of Passover is uh, Tuesday, April 23rd at 5, uh, 5 p.m. And then lastly, I just want to mention, this is absolutely my, every Shabbat's my favorite, but I have to say Disney Shabbat is, and the Carnival is truly a great Shabbat. So um, that's going to be uh, Friday, April 19th. It starts at 4.30 and a lot of activities around that day for, um, for, the, for the tots and, and for the adults. So again, Shabbat Shalom, everyone. And um, Have a lot coming up, as we always do. We will begin concluding our service with Alenu on page 282. Page 282. Please rise as you are able. Alenu le shabayach la adon ha kol, la teit gedula le yotzer breishit, shelo asanu kagei ha aratzot, velo 
samanu kemishpechot ha'adama shelo samchel kenu kahem vekor alenu kechol hamonam va'anachnu korim umishtachavim umbodim lifne melech mochei hamlachim HaKadosh Baruch Hu V'nemar v'haya Adonai L'melech al kol ha-aretz B'yom ha-hu, b'yom ha-hu Y'hye Adonai echad U'shemo, u'shemo, u'shemo Please be seated. We turn to page 291 at the bottom of the page for a reading before our mourner's Kaddish. There are stars up above, so far away we only see their light long, long after the star itself is gone. And so it is with people that we loved. Their memories keep shining ever brightly, though their time with us is done. But the stars that light up the darkest night, these are the lights that guide us. As we live our days, these are the ways we remember. On this Shabbat, we are remembering those who have passed in recent days, the periods of Shiva and Shloshim, Rosalind Mishkind, Harold Gruen, Donald Mann, and Greg Weitzman. Is anyone here remembering someone who has passed in this recent period of time? We also recall we will also recall those who have passed at this time in years, in years past. We begin with those with yard site plaques located in the Sue and Jerry Erfrig Memorial Room. Edith Aronson, Leo Behar, Albert Berger, Samuel Dichter, Henry David Grief, Donald Perlick, Esther Ryan, Mary Rubenstein, Barnett Schwartz, Louis Scharf, Morris Spivak, and also the yard sites of Ellen Birnbaum, Philip Feldman, Marianne Fenster, Norma Feischel, Su Susan Gethner, Lee Getty, Charles Gearer, Barbara Hockmit Hockberg, Robin Hoyer, Jerry Jacobs, Libby Kent, Sandra Kleinberg, Albert Lerner, Louis Levinson, Philip Levine, Sidney Levy, Judith Miller, Ruth Morris, Robert Novishin, Myrna Pizer, Constance Schofeld, Nathan Spector, Ethel Spizer, James Tre Trepek, Bill Turner, Louis Vodovos, Harriet Waxman, Millie Wyman, Adele Wexler, and Sandy Wathire. I invite you to share the names of those you are remembering on the Shabbat. We rise as a community in body or spirit and join together with the words of Kaddish Yatom, our Mourner's Kaddish, on page 294. Yitkadal v'yitkadash me Rabba, b'yalma divra chirote v'yam lich malchute, b'chayachon uv'yomechon uv'chaye t'chol b'yit Yisrael, b'agala v'zman kari v'imru amen. Yehe Shme Rabba Mivarach Lealam Olme Almaya 
yit barach vish tabach, vit pa arvit ramam vit nase, vit hadar vit ale vit alal shme de kudasha berechu, ve ela mi kol birchata ve shirata, tush bechata ve nechemata, zamiran belma vimru amen, yehe shlama rabba min shamaya, Vechaim alenu vel kol Yisrael vimru amen. O se shalom bimramav, hu ya ase shalom. Alenu vel kol Yisrael vimru amen. Zirchanam levracha, may their memories be for a loving blessing. Please be seated. We'll be closing our service with the singing of Eve Duet Adonai Besimcha. It's at the bottom of page 340. And it means worship with gladness, come into God's presence with singing. Eve do a tash embesimha, Eve do a tash embesimha, the fun of beer nana, the fun of beer nana. Eve do a tash embesimha, Eve do a tash embesimha, the fun of beer nana, the fun of beer nana. Yalala, 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 Eve do a tash embesimha, Eve do a tash embesimha, all the fun of beer nana, the fun of beer nana. Eve do a tash embesimha, Eve do a tash embesimha, all the fun of beer nana, the fun of beer nana. Yalla, 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 and we invite the crusades up one more time to all four of you to come and help us with the closing as you go down there where Rabbi Johnson is. We give thanks to God for bread. Our voices join in happy chorus as our prayer is humbly said. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, hamotzi lechem min ha'aretz b'te'avon.